All right, so here we go. Yes, it's the weekend, but we've got even more Diablo 4 news and updates for you all, including a way that you might be able to start preparing for the new beta weekend starting right now. If you deleted the open beta, you're going to want to pay attention. Also, we get an idea of some of the actual Field of Hatred rewards we will be receiving, and a new article goes into detail about what you can expect when you hit level 100 and that ultimate boss encounter. Some cool stuff in there. But let's get straight into this, starting with the official stuff from Rod Ferguson, who goes on to say this, PSA for the upcoming May 12th Diablo 4 server slam test, if you still have the open beta version installed, it will simply be updated to the right version. No new install required. Now, if you hastily uninstalled the open beta, then I'm sorry, but hey, another weekend. But wait a second, stay with me. There's even more details. Don't panic if you uninstalled the open beta. Let's get into it. Now it says this, Davlin says uninstalled it due to I thought it was the last test. And Rod Ferguson replied saying, you can install the slam. I was just saying that the old version will be updated. But I was wondering, can you go in and try to go to your old library of games and find the open beta and just reinstall it right now? Well, guess what? It seems like people have discovered this. In fact, Rod Ferguson retweeted this right here from Nick. It says, Rod, if people uninstalled the open beta app, they can just go to the full library list and re-download and they should be good. But does this actually work? Well, apparently people have been testing this and guess what? It worked for Whitehawk right here. So that's great news. Now I did go to battle.net to see if I can re-download the open beta because yes, I was a fool and I actually deleted the open beta off my PC. Unfortunately on battle.net, it looks like it's grayed out. Let me know if that's a, if it's different for you all or not but I think this re-download works on consoles, on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Not too sure about battle.net, but keep me updated. Let me know if this works because this just means if it does work for console users, you could re-download the entirety of the open beta and then get a smaller update. So you're quickly prepared for the server slam. And of course, I believe it's on May 10th, you will be able to download the server slam itself from scratch to pre-download it and prepare ahead of May 12th through May 14th, which is going to be the actual server slam event date. All right, so we had some confusion here, so let's clear that up. Check it out, Artie says this, I know there was a lot of confusion about this from the live stream yesterday. Here is the official answer on needing to kill Shava again for the mount and Rod Ferguson says you need to kill Shav again yes in the slam at level 20 by the way however we have to get even more clarification because the reward is not a mount that you receive from killing a Shava at level 20 here it is to be clear it's not a mount it's a mount trophy they are one of the cosmetic types in the game some of them are based on accomplishments like success in pvp so people know to avoid you. So hold on now, we just got some new details here. So one of the rewards for PVP is that yes, there will be mount trophies on offer there. So that's actually really cool to hear as well. So there's gonna be specific PVP mount trophies. All right, so here we go. We have this one from Adam who says this, have you considered pushing it up to not be the same day as the Tears of Kingdom? Of course, that's a new Zelda game releasing. I'm going to choose between Diablo or Tears. You better believe I'm disappearing for days with my Switch and will not be on Diablo. You might think it's okay. There will be others, maybe, but it's Zelda. So yes, <laughs> I've been hearing that constantly lately. The server slam is happening right during the release of the brand new Zelda game coming up here on the Switch. Now, Rod Ferguson goes on to say this will be available for only 48 hours and they will be available for the rest of your life. Choose wisely, smiley face. So which one are you guys gonna choose? If you are on Switch, of course, let me know. All right, we gotta talk about this right here. Diablo 4 Nightmare Dungeons will feature a pinnacle boss encounter. It's not a never ending grind nightmare. Well, this is a really fascinating article. Let's get into it because we have new details about what to expect from level 100 and beyond. All right, the article goes on to say this. In a group interview, GamesRadar attended. Associate Game Director Joe Perfora 
confirmed that Nightmare Dungeons will keep getting more challenging even past level 100, but there is a limit to the game's difficulty. Vora said Diablo 4 wasn't designed to endlessly scale with your character and that you'll eventually face a pinnacle boss encounter that will test the limits of even the best level 100 builds. So this is not like it's going to be a never ending story. There is going to be like a finite ending to your ultimate build, it seems, although you can potentially do some really cool stuff on top of that. So mentioning that, check it out. It says, Diablo 4 is not intended to be played forever, but there are creatures that you will continue to fight at higher and higher difficulties beyond level 100, but this is content where you'll be kind of pushing yourself to see how far you can take your build rather than trying to reach some endless grind of rewards as time goes beyond level 100. Interesting. Oh wait, there's even more. Or it adds that there will be an unspecified point past level 100 where you will receive the maximum power of gear. And at that point, you can re-roll and respect your character until you feel like you've maximized your build. And then, and only then, according to Blizzard, will you want to take on the de facto final boss of the Nightmare Dungeons. An encounter which Rapora suggests will take you several tries before having a chance at beating. That is really cool. And you know what? In the recent live stream, this is something that I loved about the recent live stream, is that Riker actually said that he died several times in the end game. And you know, he's an expert at Diablo. So to hear that, there is going to be some challenge and that kind of gets me excited, but also worries me about like starting <laughs> A hardcore uh, character in this one. All right, next up we have this. At level 100, you do have a pinnacle boss encounter we want players to engage with. That's been balanced, so that's extraordinarily, extraordinarily challenging. Players that reach level 100 are going to have an extremely difficult time on this boss encounter. And the expectation is that you take your class, you understand your build, you maximize everything that you possibly can about it, and you really have learned and countered very well. And that's going to be the way that you can maybe take it down. It also sounds like to me, you're going to have to have a fine tuned group taking on this final boss. Playing with randoms, I'm curious to see if that's even a possibility. But I'm gonna say I doubt it unless those randoms are really, really good at what they do. You're going to want a very, very fine tuned group. All right, says the particular boss who remains unnamed for the time isn't designed to provide powerful loot. Ideally, you've already bagged the best gear you can. It's about giving players a sense of accomplishment. You haven't beaten the game, especially since it's a live service game. They'll presumably be receiving content updates for many years to come, but you've proven that you've built a pretty badass character. And I feel like this is going to be like the pinnacle end of every season. The ultimate goal is can I face the level 100 boss and then you know hey i've accomplished this season i'm good to go and then the season would of course reset if you're playing a seasonal character of course but the ultimate challenge will be can you face off against this boss with a hardcore character that's going to be insane now says so that's the point is to say i have managed to get an extremely powerful character built together that's my capstone this is the goal that I have for myself within like a period of time after I've reached level 100. You know, that's the aspirational piece we want players to chase. There's cosmetic things, there's other rewards you can get from that encounter, but it's not about getting more gear at that point. Like that's kind of like the point of getting the gear is to fight that particular boss. So at least they do mention here that yes, you will be getting rewards from this boss encounter because I was like, wait, hold up, you better be getting something so yeah, they did go on to confirm that there are cosmetic rewards that you can expect from that encounter. And I'm sure that they're going to be like the ultimate, ultimate rewards for sure. All right, guess what time it is. It is time to get into your top comments. Let's see what you guys had to say about this video right here. Diablo 4 devs respond, sixth class teases, new beta info, and large scale dungeons. So yeah, we're going to scroll on down see what you guys had to say brimstone vomit says this i'm actually banking on the idea of a dark knight class since diablo one each title goes out of its way to introduce at least one class that's atypical from the previous titles whether mechanically or thematically diablo 2 introduced necro assassin and druid whereas the rest slotted into the diablo one classes to some extent functionally if not thematically now diablo 3 added monk i love the monk and Witch Doctor, if Diablo 4 was to lock in Barbarian, Rogue, Sorcerer, Necro, Druid, and Paladin Crusader class, 
we've just done a copy and paste of previous explored classes i don't think that's going to be the way and honestly i do agree with this i think they're going to try something new but at the same time doing something new they're going to have some familiar elements to it it seems to me they do want to have the shield part of this new class now will it be a traditional paladin i don't know probably not there's a lot of speculation that we could be seeing a dark templar or a blood knight a blood knight sounds so cool by the way either one dark templar or blood knight i'm for it but yeah it just seems like the shield is going to be a part of this build but sound off and tell me what you guys would actually like to see added in here as a class go outside of your thinking and try to get super creative because i'm i'm very curious to see what is actually possible here within the actual lore of diablo that would be considered like extremely creative all right so let's keep going we have the one who wonders i think we should be able to customize the colors of the item rarities and the rays of light that show up when a legendary or unique drops it would help a lot with color blindness so maybe they should consider that as well i know they have a really good accessibility team and yeah potentially could do something with that in the future now darth jinx says i think the incentive to play the beta again is to actually be able to play the game before it launches who would have thought <laughs> good point yeah that's what i was thinking i'm like why would you need an incentive to play more diablo 4 i'm just gonna hop on just to play it because i love the game and it's a lot of fun all right let's see what silent storm has to say personally i would like the sixth class to be something completely new that we haven't seen before but regardless i'll be playing every class at some point again it seems like the feeling within the community is like we want something new they've done a great job in my opinion between building nostalgia with this one and introducing some cool new mechanics and modernizing of course the arpg experience in the vein that is blizzard but at the same time it would be cool if there was something wild and new that we could try out and they took like a real risk here We'll see what Blizzard decides, but thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Diablo 4 and open world gaming goodness. I have you guys covered and I will see you all next time. Take care.